Hi guys, just going to make a small glider out of some cardboard from a cereal box. I've got some wooden coffee stirrers. Uh, that's basically all I'm going to need. I've got a penny to add some nose weight. Pencil, ruler, some glue. This is Ultimate Craft Glue. Clear drying acrylic glue. Just happened to be cheap in Poundland. Some scissors. I've got some bulldog clips, as I call them, uh, to help hold it in place while we let the glue dry. And some sticky tape. So, first thing we want is some cardboard, preferably that hasn't been all bent and folded before. That should do. Oh. This is going to be the body or fuselage and this one is five and a half inches long so it's not going to be a very big plane. I should think about one and a half inches cord will be plenty. Start off with a straight line. One and a half inches. And this is just over seven inches span. So. Mark halfway. What I'm going to do is glue it onto there and then fold it out again. That was much more glue than I needed. Tail, two and a half inches. One inch. Rudder or fin.
leave that to dry now. Well, it's had a while to dry now. If I hold that in place, I can bend it against that. Still a bit, bit, the glue's not dry there yet. Might have to leave it a bit longer. I'll do the same with the tail anyway. Right, normal place for center of gravity for a glider is about a quarter of the way back from the front of the leading edge. So that's going to be about there somewhere and we're right back here. So I'll tape the penny on the front and see how that does. Let's move the centre of gravity quite way forwards. So I don't think the glue's quite dry yet. But I'm impatient, so I think I might throw it anyway. I am thinking of putting some sticky tape straight across the top here to give it a bit of strength on the join. We'll throw it, see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> 